T County EMS has a new tool that could revolutionize the way paramedics perform CPR. It's called the Auto Pulse, and the machine can do things human can't, which could save even more lives. News Channel 8's John Rogers joins us now live in Manatee County to tell us all about it. John, are these machines out on the street quite yet? Good evening, Josh. Not quite yet. They're just wrapping up training, and they expect to have these machines in ambulances within the next couple of weeks. And as you're about to see, they're very effective tools. Sir, sir, you okay? When someone is having a heart attack, CPR can be the difference between life and death. However, a human is only capable of so much. It's very tiring. You're compressing at about 100 times per minute, and you're using almost every muscle in your body. But the auto pulse is a more effective solution. Traditional CPR, you're compressing over the top center of the chest, over the sternum. This device delivers that compression throughout the whole thoracic cavity, so it gets a more effective compression. It takes only seconds to set up, and these consistent, strong compressions pump more blood through the body than typical CPR. It frees the paramedic to do other life-saving tasks because every second counts. You're free to do IVs. You're free to uh, give medications. You're free to put an, a tube down their throat to help them breathe. You're free to defibrillate. It, it does help a lot. The auto pulse also allows paramedics to do compressions while moving the patient around. That used to be impossible. Manatee County purchased eight of these at nearly 20 grand a piece. Officials soon hope to have every ambulance equipped with one, and it's been needed. In the past two years, paramedics have responded to nearly 900 calls for cardiac arrest, and they only expect that call volume to rise. So if we can save even one life with the device, it's, it's worth every penny. Since Manti EMS currently has eight of these machines, they're spread to stations that uh, statistically have the most heart attack calls. But as we mentioned, they hope in the near future to have these machines at all of their stations. Back to you. Yeah, very impressive machine and all very good news. But uh, John, do we know, take a frail uh, patient, for instance, would this machine break a person's ribs? I even got questions about that on social media. I did ask that. They say that because, no, the quick answer is no. Because the pressure is spread across the whole chest, there's less likely to have damage to the ribs or the sternum, Josh. Well, great technology there. John Rogers live in Manatee County for us. Thanks, John.